Every year in Las Vegas, a whole new wave of technology. And at this year's Consumer Electronics Show, the inescapable trend, trimming your waistline with high-tech help. But can something as small as this on your waistband work? Snaking our way through the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, we couldn't help but notice so much of the new technology focuses on the new you, that fork called Happy Fork. It's the fork to tell you to go to eat more slowly. It tells you to eat more slowly. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Paris. Paris. In France. So you've come up with this in France, where you eat cheese and wine. As you hold the fork, it measures the length of your meal, the number of times you bring it to your mouth, and how long you break in between fork loads. It's vibrating already. Turns out I was eating too fast, not to mention talking with my mouth full. Joanna Stern, ABCnews.com technology editor, right there with us. So what does it want me to do? It wants you to slow down. So I did. It's not vibrating now, so I've slowed down and it's happy with me now. It's, it's actually called the happy fork. <laughs> Apropos. I yes. put this on my forehead. Yes. The next item they tried to convince us on, Spree, the computer you wear on your forehead. How's my heart rate? 75. My heart rate is dropping as I check out your product. They say it's the first device to combine the length of your workout, how far, how fast, with your body temperature, sending that information via Bluetooth. But I had a question about one of the numbers. Yeah. Do I have a fever? <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's 99.6. They assured me it was no fever. It was warm in that convention center. Who wears this while they're working out, though? I mean, if you're at the gym and you have this on, you look a little funny. I mean, no? No, you don't sweat with this. It's like a, a sweat stop. And lastly, yeah, yeah, Fitbit. You wear it like a watch or right on your belt, wow. and it tells you how many Fitbit steps, Ultra how many stairs climbed, how many calories burned in a single day. So if your goal is 2,562, you're almost there. How that's many steps should we be taking? You should be taking at least 10,000. 10,000 steps yeah, a day. It's hard, actually, but that's, you should be doing that. So today at work... Let's see how many steps I take before I get to the news desk here. I took the stairs, went me, to Starbucks right? for everyone, back up the block. Gotta love the escalator. Delivering those coffees to the edit room. I haven't even hit 2,000 yet. <sighs> Which is why that message said, faster, David. Everybody seems laughing at me here in the studio. I should have skipped the escalator because I'm only at 2,600 steps, they say 10,000.